what is going on everybody welcome back to the dog house podcast this is this episode 20 i think it's episode 20 this is the big 2 let's fucking go dude big 2 episode 20 uh we hope you guys have enjoyed all the episodes leading up to this very moment um we've got quite a few things to go over today and to begin i want to start with the snack because really? this is something I haven't had, so I'm excited. Oh wow! Um, that makes I me saw, excited now. Yeah, I was I was walking through Central Market, and <laughs> this dude's there every day, <laughs> literally every day. Uh, this is persimmon slices, huh? I don't know. I've I've never heard of this before. Um, what, what, out of all the things in the store, you have a, a store full of food. Why did this stand out to you? I was between this and then like a standard orange, but it was like candied. Mm. And I think this is just dried. So I was like, I'm going to try this now. And uh, and also I had the thought as I was picking this up, I was like, this is something new. So I don't know how to consume it or <laughs> I don't know how to consume it. Um, assuming I'm just going to like, wow, this is take a stiff. little nibble. Yeah, it's very stiff. Um smells like nothing to be honest yeah um but oh yeah i had the thought i was like one of these days i'm gonna try something and it's just gonna kill me <laughs> <laughs> you're one of those guys i'm gonna try enough things and one day something's gonna put an end to j-rod that you're one of those guys I always ask myself the question like man back then how they how they know what kills you, you when you just had to try it. yeah you just had to try it you're like you would have been one of those fuck guys it. But hey, get J-Rod. He'll try this thing. <laughs> Dead. And you're like, all right, don't eat that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, don't eat it. <laughs> don't eat the permis- persimmons. Did you buy that already? Yeah. A little nibble. I'm going to coat the palate. <laughs> There's not much to it. It's pretty plain. Yeah, not much going on. It's pretty plain. Interesting. That is interesting. Well, lame. <laughs> I'm bored. Anyways. I'm gonna hold it some, okay? You have to put it all the way in. Okay. Okay. Just breathe out it. Mom, can you just do it? I know I shouldn't curse in front of my mom, but cauliflower ear sucks. I use Caliblood's ear magnets. I really wish I would have had his magnets, but my ears were messed up. These keep my cauliflower ear at bay. They're the original and best quality cauliflower ear magnets on the market. Step one, drain your ear. Step two, pick your buds. Step three, put them on your ear. Make the right decision. Invest in these Kali buds so your ears don't look like chicken nuggets like mine. <laughs> Check them out on Amazon or KaliBuds.com. Add <laughs> ears. Train with your buds. Juice Organics powders are certified USDA organic, 100% vegan, non-GMO, dairy-free, gluten-free, and soy-free. We have a wide range of products that are here to support your health needs. Our products are designed to boost energy, enhance endurance, and aid in muscle recovery. Packed with organic superfoods, Juice helps fuel your body with intense training and quick recovery. Juice Sport Greens is an all-in-one greens supplement with seven essential organic components consisting of greens, antioxidants, protein, probiotics, mushrooms, and fiber to help promote a strong and healthy body. And don't forget to use code DOG25 to get 25% off all of their products. Uh, I have... I have a lot of things to go over. You have a trip coming up. I do have a trip coming up. When is your trip? Monday. You leave Monday. I fly out Monday morning. Okay. Yep. And you're going to Florida. Going to Florida Keys. I've been mentioning it for the past like three episodes. Yes. It's finally happening. Finally. The day has come. Yep. The week has come. Yep. Where next Monday I'll be flying up to Florida Keys for the first time. You'll be in the in Florida for your, your first time ever? Or? No, I've been to Florida before, but not the Florida Keys. Okay. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Speaking of first time ever, 
this guy's never had bison before. Can you should have seen his reaction when I said this. Can you believe like, that? What? <laughs> Literally just like yeah. that. Like, <laughs> I, I mean, it was... I have bison every single day. Every day? I have a pound of bison every single day. When do you start eating bison? When we had bad cholesterol. <laughs> really? really? Yeah. Isn't bison red meat the same thing, right? Yes, but... But they say, um, so bison is red meat, but it's lower in saturated fat as compared to beef. Mm -hmm. So consuming, like consuming beef is, say it's bad for your cholesterol because it's fucking. Because of the meat glue. We've been over this. <laughs> because of the saturated. <laughs> We've been over this. Because of the saturated fats. Mm. So bison is lower in saturated fats, so we can still have red meat without as much saturated fats also we consume other things to affect uh the rest of our diet differently so like mm. say if you have uh mono unsaturated fats uh during or before your consumption of the red meat your body takes in the saturated fats that are they say is not good for you and causes high cholesterol takes your uh or your body takes it in a little bit easier um it doesn't fuck with you as much yeah. so they say yeah so, so they say is it does it taste gamey uh, it's not that different. No, not that different. Not that different. No. I I love love. I have ground bison, pound of ground bison, honey all over that bitch. Oh, that's. I was just about to say, you add any sauce? A banana. I forgot you said honey. No sauce. Just honey, honey and a fucking banana. Honey, Dog. it's so interesting. I'm telling you, it is amazing. Honey on meat. So good. Huh. So good. You have to try it. Yeah, I told you I went to that place. Or I didn't go to it, but on South Congress. Like two weekends ago, I was like exploring up and down South Congress and came across that meat shop that I was like, oh, yes, sell and clean deer meat yeah. for you and stuff. It That's was closed, sick. but I really wanted to go yeah. in there and check it out. Yeah. Have you had venison before? Venison. Is that? That's deer meat. Deer. No. Really? Well, yes, 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 I have. Oh, yes, have. I have. Yes, okay, I have. Okay. Yes, I have. Yeah. I also have like same brand uh, does venison as well. So mm. good stuff. I've uh, had deer meat before. I'm, I think I only had like a bite of deer meat. I haven't like, actually like. Sat down and had it with uh, a meal. You know what I mean? Gotcha. I, do, I need to eat more variety of meat. I've had lamb. Um, Lamb's good. Lamb's pretty good. Ground lamb is not for me, but like lamb chops. I like lamb chops. What's the difference? When I, At least the ground lamb that I've had, it's uh, lamb in general. I think it's super high in fat. So when you cook it, mm. it's soaked in fat. Mm. And it's just too much for me. Um, I've had African food. What spe like a specific platter? Yes, but I'll forget. <laughs> it was African food. There was an African restaurant. Um, here, here. Oh, you should go. It's kind of cool. Um, it's, I believe it's on South Congress. Okay. Um, and it's like straight up African style. Like they they give you, it was their culture of this specific place in Africa. So it was really like you. You didn't use utensils. You ate with your hands. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Like the yeah, style. yeah. Which I, I. That's sick. I loved. Yeah. I, dude, I already <laughs> used my hands. So like, no one's looking at me weird. I'm just like. Dah, dah, dah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> but yeah, it was pretty good. I forget what type of meat I have, but it was like not your typical white American yeah. meat. You know, something cool. Yeah. So that was good. That's cool. That's cool. Um. What else do we have going on? Your I your dirt bike trip. List. Oh yeah, dirt bikes. Yeah. So the trip was cut short. I told you, Nikki Rod. <clears throat> so we live at like the beginning of the development. So all mm -hmm. the neighbors drive by our house. One day, uh, a fifty-five year old man stops by. He's like, "Hey, see your bikes in your garage. We should go ride some time with Nikki Rod." And uh, I didn't know anything about this. Fast forward a week later, we go to ride. Um, and Nikki Rod's like, oh yeah, we have a guy, like a neighbor's coming with us. And I'm like, first thought, I'm like, God, God damn it. I don't really like interacting with people. <laughs> this, this is like, I don't know. Um, and, oh, we go ride with the guy and, uh, I lose Nikki Rod and the guy. Turns out the guy's a fucking professional. I was going to say, you said bro, he was a stud. He's doing wheelie. This is a 55 year old man. He's doing wheelies and shit. I like I stopped like spit out out my because I'm like inhaling dirt so I spit out my fucking helmet. I look over and this man's on a 450 just fucking hitting a wheelie and I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? Beer belly and everything like kind of jacked, just like dad bod. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, super impressed. 
uh, with his, he's way better than me, way better than Nicky Rod, fucking when it comes to riding. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we, we stopped riding. Uh, oh, I actually, I lost them. Like I said, I lost them. So I went back to the truck. The moment I hop off my bike, I turn around and there's a cop right behind me. <laughs> okay, you said you lost them. Or were y'all on a track? Or trail. We, a trail. Yeah, we were in the trail and by um, like 20 minutes from here. There's a trail in the woods. Um, hmm. And yeah, we just went there. And the moment I, I, I lean my bike on, on a tree, hop off the bike. Turn around, boom! There's a cop. There's and a I'm cop like, in the woods. Yeah, he was in a, in a truck, just like what? Hops out, and I'm <laughs> like, hell? I'm not. I can't like get on. And He's like, been behind you for like 25 minutes. <laughs> <He's> like, mm. <laughs> I can't like. Uh, I'm not gonna like hop on and fucking kick my bike and try to fucking run. Why not? Because like, the trucks are there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. so it's like. Uh, so it just says like, yeah, you can't be on this property. Um, really? And uh, yeah, but before previously it was. Uh, it was state property, so it was fine. Mm. Uh, but recently, like they're trying to like someone bought it. I guess they're d- developing uh, mm. houses there and sh- or some shit there, so you won't be able to ride there anymore. Damn, unfortunately. But uh, after that, the old man is like super chill. He's talking about how uh, obviously we talk about jujitsu and shit. And we talk about steroid use and jujitsu, and he's like, he's like a fifty year old, so he's on testosterone. And uh, Nicky Rod was like, oh, ask him a question about it. He's like, man, when I wake up in the morning, it's so hard. I catch, couldn't scratch my dick. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, this is the kind of guy where. When I wake up, I'm hard as a rock. Hard as a rock. <laughs> fucking, what did he say? He said something about like a TP or something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, funny. he's a cool guy. He's fucking, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. funny. It seems cool. Um, so they did not interact with the police officer, just you? No, they, yeah, they did. Yeah. They did. They ended up uh, coming back like uh, two or three minutes after, but I had the longest interaction with the cop, unfortunately. <laughs> um, Did you tell him who you were? Like, hey, I, I was like, don't you know? Don't you, don't know? you know who I am? <laughs> you know what I'm capable of? Professional motocross rider. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please, um, back up. Yeah, what else? What else is happening? Uh, dirt bike. I had a... Um, Interaction I had with peace officer one time. Oh, it's yeah. kind of similar. It had nothing to do with dirt bikes. But uh-huh. I, um, back in high school, uh, a bunch of my wrestling buddies, we found a quarry. You know what a quarry is? Yeah. Like way back in the woods behind the church. And um, we went there one day and it was like the sickest cliff jumping you could find. And like a place you would not even expect. Some yeah. random woods in Virginia. And, um, We'd go back there every weekend, just jump. I have an old video of me jumping off. I could, probably could find it. Um, we had so much fun doing that until one day, we're, we're, it's like a good, I'd say, 30-minute walk from like the oh, wow. woods line to the quarry. Yeah. And one day we're jumping, and like these two police officers appear out of nowhere, like kind of like in your story. Like we're <laughs> jumping, look behind, woods clear, jump, come up, two police officers. We're like, whoa, yeah. what the hell? <laughs> and they walked a whole 30 minutes, dude, to come to this quarry. Wow. Because apparently um, the church had like either the church or the a company that was like in charge of the quarry or something had like trail cams and noticed that we were, we, yeah, at trail cam to notice that we were on the property um, jumping off the quarry. Yeah. So they told on us, obviously, and the police officers come and they're like, they were cool about it. They're like, hey, just, you know. Scram. Scram. I'm basically yeah. getting back anywhere. I was like, God damn, it was yeah. the sickest quarry I've ever found in my life. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I never. Oh, maybe in Hawaii we could do like some cliff jumping or something. Bro, if we that's possible. we have to find water, which shouldn't that's be easy. much of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be easy. We gotta find water on an island. <laughs> I'll be happy if we can find some water. Um and then specifically a waterfall. So water that's falling. <laughs> yes, yes. We can find that stuff, dude. I, I sent you um a message as usual on, on Instagram. Uh-huh. And I was just, it was that same guy who just like stares at beautiful scenery. Uh, yes, yes. And I'm like, I wrote, I was like, this is all I want to do in Hawaii is just stare at shit. Yes. Like, I just want to stare at shit. I just want to go look at places and be like, yes. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it'll be a good trip. I'm still trying to figure out, maybe I should talk about it on the podcast to help 
get some momentum going or something mm. in talks with a few gyms and whatnot. But this is the ideal trip I have in my mind. I don't know if this is stupid, but ideally, ideally, I want to have a seminar on July 4th. That might be a terrible idea. <laughs> um, July 4th is a Thursday. So Thursday morning or Thursday, like noon, we have seminar or whatever. Everybody goes home, parties, do does whatever they're going to do. I don't even know if they party or celebrate that in Hawaii. Hawaii is is it, uh, it an is, American state. It is, but I don't know. So don't know maybe, they, maybe they're a different culture. Who knows? That's Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever, whatever. You Regardless, can bring Fourth of July to them. <laughs> you're goddamn right. <laughs> so ideally, Thursday teach noon. Friday night teach another seminar on a different island, um, and then Saturday and Sunday teach on the big island and pretty much stay there for the rest. Um, so big island Saturday, which is our seminar Saturday we're teaching already Sunday. Mm -hmm. I would like to find another seminar to do maybe in Hilo, uh, which is on the other side of the Island. It's about a two hour drive. Um, and, and then have free day Monday and leave Tuesday night or Wednesday morning. Mm. Um, that would be ideal because two weekends is too long. I, I like routine. I like fucking, I like ground bison. I like training <laughs> at noon every single day. Um, I like training at B team every single day. I like I like my bed. I like my I bed. Like my bed. Uh, but yeah, if you guys ha uh, are in Hawaii and you want to have me out uh, sometime around the states, hit me up on Instagram, um, and hopefully I can get that scheduled. Uh, that would be ideal. That would sure. be ideal. Yes. Also, before you leave for your trip. We have a photo shoot. Oh, that's right. This weekend. This weekend. This weekend. Sunday. 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 We are doing a another photo shoot. I guess in celebration for the twentieth episode of the Doghouse podcast. So you guys are in for a treat. Exactly. Uh, I guess drop a comment down below what you think the uh, theme of this photo shoot is going to be. That's a good one. Um, it's going to be good. I'll give you a hint. I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> you can see 95% of my skin. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. You guys are in for a real treat. <laughs> it's going to be good, though. I'm excited. Um, yeah. I have a... I just thought of a super random, impulsive topic. Mm -hmm. um, when you were talking about that 55-year-old in the dirt bike, mm. you hear a lot of people... Um, talk, I guess, crap or shit about... Like women wearing makeup mm -hmm. as long as they can and getting like plastic surgery, stuff like that to try and remain young mm -hmm. as long as they can. Mm -hmm. And they get a lot of shit for it. Do you think that's any different than a man getting on testosterone once he starts to get older? I think it's it should be treated the same. Really? I think it should so be treated the same. Do you think when same. men get on testosterone at a certain age, it should be like... Like you shouldn't be trying to hold on to your youth. I don't think it's a bad thing because I mean that's what it's there for. Like that yeah. is what testosterone is or TRT. It's a natural. Is, is, I mean it's it's what it's there for, right? And that's what makeup is there for for women. Um, I think the issue that comes into play when TRT gets a negative kind of outlook on it is when young people start taking it, they get juiced mm. to the gills and then people have this bad kind of a perspective on TRT. But it's like, no, no, these people that this is not meant for these people. Mm. You know, this is meant for fuck guys in their fifties, sixties, whatever yeah. that need their testosterone that they need, you know, TRT. That's what it is. That's what it's there for. Okay. Um, um I want to play devil's advocate with mm -hmm. this topic a little bit. Um, I guess how what I would argue with this topic is like if a girl w wants to get like plastic surgery, stuff like that, mm -hmm. that's unnatural, right? Like that's, that's not the way you were born, blah, 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 blah. Um, makeup is unnatural to where TRT technically people would say is natural, right? Yeah. It's just putting uh, testosterone in your body, yeah. which your body produces natural testosterone. Fair. But 
isn't it natural? Like, isn't there a reason why you think your body starts to produce less as you get older? And if you put testosterone in your body when you're 45, 50, and your test levels are above 1,000, that that's no longer natural? <clears throat> well, I agree, but I also think, like, naturally, without modern medicine or anything, by the time you're, you're 50, you would have been dead. Hmm. No one's lasting. Like, before modern medicine, who's lasting to 50, 60 mm. years old? True, yeah. You know? That's a good point. Um, And then, like... I think, too, people say the 45-year-old man getting on TRT, that's unnatural because the body naturally decreases testosterone. Yeah. But I also think there's a lot of unnatural things that makes men's testosterone lower than what it should be yeah, at sure. certain ages. For I sure. think at 45, like 50 years old... microplastics in our food. Exactly. Well, I just saw a freaking post of... That there's been traces found of microplastics in men's testicles. Really? Yes. And that's what's decreasing sperm count in men's ball sack. I believe it. That's crazy. I believe it. <laughs> that's, yep. that's so bad. Yeah, it's terrible. But yeah, I, was, I thought this was an interesting topic. Yeah. Because everyone's like, oh, you shouldn't wear makeup. Like, you know, you're getting older. Just accept it. But it's really hard for men to also accept that they're getting older. So they just get yeah. on TRT. I think it, it's also like... Uh, I don't know. I guess personally, I, I don't like the look of women having like excessive makeup. So oh, yeah, me like neither. Automatically, like, don't do that. Yeah. But also for women, I think women <laughs> don't want do their. That. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. But uh, it's fucking unnatural. It's not natural shit. <laughs> fucking lady was putting makeup on my face. I was like, oh, yeah, you're my, talking about this. Holding my breath and shit. I'm like, I don't want this powder. I don't want to inhale this powder. There's chemicals on my face. Chemicals. I asked her, I was like, is there anything uh, harmful in it? <laughs> Are you looking at peanuts? <laughs> <laughs> um, but also... I, 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 another thing, too, is I feel like men have to be more capable longer than women. And what I mean by that is, like, I, get, I feel mm. like once a, a, a girl goes through her stage of, like, being super attractive, mm. it's to attract a mate, right? Yeah. And once you get a mate, a husband, a father, and you have kids and stuff. There's no reason for you to be pretty anymore if you're with a loyal man, of yeah. course. And it's but a man is supposed to be responsible to protect his family all the way until he's like freaking eighty years yeah, old, for sure. So it's like you're kind of expected to be capable and for a long all time. But yet, when a man tries to be capable by getting on TRT, it's like, oh, that's unnatural. It's like, well, yeah. I think, like I said, the only like negative outlook that testosterone gets or like older men uh get like a fucking people looking at them a certain way is because of other people that don't need it using it excessively like mm. abusing the fucking abusing it yeah yeah that's one thing um would you get on trt after you're done competing i think i guess when i when i would need it like once you're at I that was, certain age yeah when yeah. i'm fucking like in my 60s or whatever whenever what is the age for testosterone I feel like it, it depends, but I feel like if I were to get on TRT for like uh, therapy reasons, or whatever, it would have to be at an age where you where your tests just start to decline. Yeah, because I know your test goes up and starts to plateau in like your mid to late twenties, and it will mm. stay there for a while. And then at some point, when you start reaching like your forties, I think maybe late thirties, forties, mm. it'll slowly start to go down. I feel like at the age where your test starts to go down is when I would want to take it to keep it at that yeah, level for just fucking while I'm still like active coaching. Yeah. Now, if I ever have my own gym, I want to be able to like, if I'm the coach, some young buck comes in there, be able to whoop his ass. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. <laughs> I got to be on TRT for that at that point. <laughs> <laughs> I can barely <Yeah>. walk now. <laughs> um. Yeah. I mean, fair. Fair, for but sure. apparently a, a guy's peak age isn't until 32 30, yeah oh have you seen the thing uh like th there's some crazy s statistic where uh every man past the age of 35 has never won a ufc fight really i believe so interesting uh, that I could be that entirely stuff, wrong but i'm pretty sure i that's believe true. it yeah like once you hit that age you're just like you're yeah. behind the ball dude and he's like 25 26 yeah. year olds coming up like yeah i mean everyone's young and hungry and it's just like that's a big thing dude yeah you, like youth is a massive weapon against someone who's old you have the experience and stuff but you're broken down this is worn out this is worn out 
and you have this guy who's just fresh, dude. Everything's fresh, fresh about yeah. him, ready to go. Yeah. It's like you've already been through, you've already been there, done that. Yep. It's like uh, he's got no torn meniscus. He's got no torn anything. Yep. I got torn everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm on twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but thirty two. It's funny they say thirty two is like um, a man's prime age, and that was uh, some of it's related to that was the age of Jesus when he rose. Oh, back really? from the dead was 32 interesting and like that was like the age he just stayed at pretty much 32 hmm. so like so some science that proves like 32 is like the age and then some people agree with it because it's like the religious Religion. belief like yeah 32 32 so, i'm waiting Rule for 32. When i'm 32 i just perk up when 32 is i was like man i feel young again and then 33 i'm back down <laughs> you have one year of youth yeah one year of get your youth back what else is going on i, I got a new funny. couch you did get a new couch. A new couch what was, what the was the M&M thought thing. and reasoning behind that? Well, I had been wanting a new couch or a couch because uh, I've just been sitting on a beanbag. Beanbag wasn't cutting it. It's good, but uh, I don't know. Sometimes it can get uncomfortable, and I like to sit crisscross applesauce sometimes, <laughs> and my ankles have been sometimes. fucked up. <laughs> Not ankle, all the time. Sometimes. My ankles have been fucked up, so I can't do crisscross applesauce anymore. Same. Yeah. So I was like, I'm gonna get a fucking couch. I'll just go through the marketplace. Find <laughs> you a nice live with I want <laughs> some. I found a night suit. I almost sent it to you. A night a suit. A full night suit. That you can put on. Yes. Bro. <laughs> it's like six hundred dollars. I was like, no. <laughs> We need to have an episode on this podcast where we just go through Facebook Marketplace <laughs> with you and just Yes. Just hear your yes. thoughts. Last night I was looking at a twenty dollar atomically correct skull. Atomically was, correct skull. Yes. What does that like, mean? Like how our skulls like are proportionate. It's, like everything's perfect. Yes. Wow. I was like, do I need this? Bro. No, no, no. I don't need this. See, you know, it'd be cool. This is why. This is why you need to get rich. This is why you will get rich. Because at that point, when you're at a certain level, when you have a bunch of money and a bunch of time, you can just collect cool shit. You know what I mean? You just be like, ah. like at some day, at some point in my life, I want to collect watches. Yeah. I want to have like a watch collection, but you can just collect cool like. You see in the movies, you go in those rich people's houses, and it's like, yeah, that's a stone from the Egyptian pyramid. Like, <laughs> I collected it when I went there. Like, you know what I mean? It's like all these crazy, you're going to have like a night suit, a skull. It's going to be some bunch of the weird shit. Yeah. Yeah. I sick. already have a fucking Eminem. M&M oh, yeah. Statue. Dude bought an Eminem statue. It's the colors. Life's like human size. They go well. It's like this big. It's like a four, four <laughs> foot tall Eminem. Four um, foot tall, basically a replica of me, just round, <laughs> rounder, right there in the room. <laughs> it's perfect. The couch is green, the M M&M and M is yellow, but they it matches. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like it goes well together. I feel like this is him in the moment trying to um, convince himself. <laughs> yeah, he's like trying to convince himself right now. It matches, right? <laughs> Fuck. How'd you how how the trip end up going getting the couch? That's right. I really I, wanted to help you, but I was busy. Yes, yes. So I had to borrow Nicky Rod's truck because um, obviously I'm not going to get a couch in my fucking... Uh-huh. Guys, hear that. Hear that. Wheels. He's de- always trying to bait on a truck or a car. <laughs> and here he's in the borrow truck. I had to borrow Nicky Rod's truck. Um, and Nicky Rod was sick. He was dying. The man is never sick. So for him to be on his ass is fucking. I'm like, I must keep my distance from this guy because yeah, it's looking around be like a real going fucking on. sickness. Every time I touch like any handle, I'm like cleaning my hands. Uh, and I, was, shit. I, was, I wasn't afraid, but like coming over here today for the podcast, I was like, God, yeah. I don't want to get sick before like, Floyd oh, Keys. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I've been staying out in the sun to get vitamin D like extra before coming <laughs> here. I'm just like, please, please fill me up. <laughs> yeah, but uh, took um, took the truck over to pick up the couch. Couch was a hundred bucks. Because I'm a fucking master negotiator. Oh, you negotiate? Was it higher? Oh, you're goddamn right. Oh, but fifty percent off, baby. <laughs> what? Yeah, no. Two hundred, you got it for a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he only negotiates with women. That's why. That's why. It was a woman. <laughs> I'll talk about this. So, <laughs> I get there, and uh, I feel bad. I'm like, hey, uh, I, I mean, I'm here solo. Where do you go? Why do you do? It makes me nervous. You go to all these places by yourself. <laughs> Let me just tag along for some of these, just like as a just like as a bystander, just to I've watch. I almost bought like dude, that's a vlog idea. Cars and b- brought you. I please, almost. I want to go to one of these magnificent Facebook market <laughs> trips, and we make it a vlog. J Rod goes to another Facebook marketplace house. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Um, Continue though. 
Uh, oh yeah. I, so I get to the lady's house. She's um, she's a hefty lady. <laughs> Boy, she's a hefty lady. So being nice, I like. I'm trying to. I want to do as much work as possible. Right. I don't want her to even touch the couch, but. <laughs> I need a fucking hand to maneuver it without damaging anything in her house. Why'd you say it like that? So I didn't well, want her to touch the couch. I, I'm trying to be a gentleman, right? I don't, uh, I don't okay, want the okay, woman okay. to fucking pay, do any work. Mm-hmm. I feel bad, but I mean, I got to use what I got. So uh, we pick up the couch from her living room to her door. We get halfway through the door, which is about <laughs> five feet. I I'd wish say. this was recorded, dude. I'd love to see feet. J-Rod's interaction with these <laughs> random strangers, dude. God it's about it. five feet from her fucking door to her, her fucking, where the couch was. And she's like, hold on. <sighs> My knees. What? Oh, no. <laughs> and I'm, I'm like, I got an idea. J-Rod's probably like, same. <laughs> <laughs> like, I got an idea. I'm going to pick this up. The I, whole thing. I picked the whole thing up, put it on my shoulder. What? <laughs> just walked straight you to the truck. <laughs> you picked that whole catch up on your shoulder. Yeah, she's. I, I bet pick. she was instantly turned. I was like, wow, <laughs> a young stud. I picked it up. She was like, are, are you sure? I was like, no, nope, I got it. I got it. This is dropping down to 50, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want my cash back. God, um, that's awesome. Yeah. Strapped her down, brought her back home, cleaned her up. Wait. We're good now. Okay, never mind. Look, I decided to envision. I forgot you borrowed the truck. I was like, did you how did you have it on top oh, of the yeah. car? Like, <laughs> imagine. Uh, you should just get like a big basket that just sits on top of your car, and that's Dude, like your bed. <laughs> I've thought about doing certain things. Oh, God. Stupid things. Oh, God. I thought about turning the car into a fucking off-road car so there's no scraping issues. You told me about that, yeah. I've yep. got plenty of ideas. We'll see. God, we'll see. dude, we have to make one of these trips a vlog. Hawaii. Well, no, just your Facebook marketplace oh, trips. Yes, yes. Like, dude, that would be priceless. Yeah, absolutely. God. You know, there's always, like, something random. I wish like, I was in the bush just watching that whole interaction, <laughs> dude. Been laughing so fucking hard. Ah, uh, yeah, that was good. What else? There's, I got a whole fucking list. Oh, new bucket, new thing added to my bucket list. Oh, shit. That's yes. a big deal. That is a big deal. It's gonna, It's got to happen. And I feel like this is something you have to be here for. Okay. Um... I want to go to the catacombs underground Paris. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's tough. Is this... I haven't seen like any of the movies or anything, and it's been a long time since I've heard anything about this stuff, mm-hmm. but I saw a clip of people exploring, and I was like... What the secrets of the world under there? What's stopping me from going there? The right? secrets of the world are under there. Right? There's just a bunch of dead bodies under there. Have you seen the movies um, Angels and Demons? No. Oh, God. Does it have to do with the catacombs? Yes. Really? Um, well, those, kind of. Those specific ones? The... So, it, it's... it's Think of it like Indiana Jones, hmm. but more like modern day truths, mm. kind of. Um, so, the movies are kind of... I guess it's our little movie topic today. Angels and Demons is about... Um, them trying to find the secrets behind the painting, the Mona Lisa. Uh-huh. Um, and through f- trying to find these secrets, it takes them through the catacombs of, of Paris or whatever. And it's it just... takes you, the, the real catacombs, you want to, you can't get access to this, but this is where the real secrets are, are um, the catacombs of like the Catholic Church or like the Pope. Mm-hmm. Like all the secrets of religion and stuff are like hidden underground in these catacombs. Oh, and, really? it has, and like there's no access to the public. Interesting. And some people believe it is like, proof of things people don't want to know about that's down there and stuff and it's very interesting and i do yeah i will find that place yes. and i will get in there yes. i'm the king of sneaking into places too, <laughs> you so. are actually you are yeah. yeah so i will get in there yeah um yeah maybe i need you actually it's not i want you there i need I you need you, I there. need you there it'll be a little little mission yeah um but i have been in catacombs before under churches really yeah catacombs yes How, what was your experience like so it was one random weekend. I went out by myself. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I went to a Catholic church in high school. I mean, I went to a Catholic high school in high school. So for a field trip, we went to this church out in bum F nowhere. Mm-hmm. And um, 
the church was like some special Catholic church. There was like a lot of history behind it. And we go inside and it was like, it's a massive church and the beautiful ceilings. Like you, mm-hmm. they're like Michelangelo paintings all over okay. the ceiling. Beautiful. And they had catacombs that we got to go down into underground really? and walk through them. And they had like ancient pottery that was like part of this church or part of this family, wow. like all down there and locked away in cases. And yeah. it was really, really cool. It was definitely more, you know, modern catacombs yeah. and kept up and taken care of. Okay, okay. But the ones in Paris and shit, like I want to find the ones that are like, I want to see the ones with all the skulls and shit on the walls. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> God, I'm dead serious. Yeah. yeah. I want to be like, I want to take a Polaroid. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Dude, I, we, I am totally down. Oh, oh, Whoa! No, I got something I to tell you. <laughs> I can't talk about this. I have to do it on the next one. Why not? I'm, I'm waiting for a package. You're waiting for a package. I'm waiting for a package. You ordered something. I ordered something. Why can't I know? You gotta wait. <laughs> it's perfect though. It's it's just for our convenience in the future. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, what we're talking about now is a perfect time to bring up this quote. Mm-hmm. Um, because I I want to go do what you're saying, mm-hmm. and this. This is the reason why. Mm-hmm. This quote says, Modern man is loveless, so he made porn. Modern man is adventurous, so he made video games. Modern man is passionless, so he made Marvel movies. Modern man is manufacturing artificial pleasures rather than living a heroic life. This podcast just took a turn, guys. <laughs> this massive turn. But that makes me think of like, yeah, man, all these things... People, including myself, sometimes, you know, I I play a game like GTA where I can skydive out of a plane because I always want to do it. Well, then why don't you just go do it? Yep. You know, maybe you really want to talk to a hot girl, but you're afraid to so just watch porn instead. Yep. Just go talk to the hot girl. Like you, you're you're all all these things you want to do. You're just making it into a fake world, so you don't actually have to do it. So I'm sitting here thinking when you just brought that up, I was like, man, I want to go do adventurous shit. I'd want to do in a video game, yeah. but fuck it, let's do it in real life. Yeah, you know what you I mean. Get ten times fucking better. So, it's so much better. It's yeah. you, can, you can actually tell a real story. Yeah, you can experience it. I did this. I did this. I, I did was this. there. Not oh, we were playing video games and we did this. Yeah, yeah. It's like no, dude, I was there. Yeah, but um, I really want to go to Paris. I think it's France. Um, I had a tr- I had a an opportunity, which looking back on it, I regret. I had an opportunity to go to France and Iceland for free. In high school, really? Yep, and I didn't go because of a wrestling tournament. Ah, <laughs> and it was yes. just like, at the time, it was important to go to a wrestling tournament. Yeah, but yeah, now looking yeah. back on, I'm like, bro, I should have gone to Iceland in France yeah. um, as like a field trip that was me paid for by the school. Damn. And yeah, I know, dude. And the reason why they go to France because while we're over in that area, if we ever mm-hmm. go to the catacombs, I want to go see. Um, God, I hope religious people don't hear me saying this because I just forget all the terms and stuff, but there's a place in France in a certain church, I forget the name of it, but you can go see on display <clears throat> a saint, I forget her name, God, I don't want to say Saint Mary, it's something else, but a saint of like, um, it's one of the very few miracles that's ever happened in our day and age, or mm-hmm. we, that we can see in our day and age, where it's called the uncorruptible, I believe, where it's like when a body dies, you know, it decays after a certain amount of time. Mm-hmm. Well, this girl died, and she ended up being a prophet or a saint or something with the Catholic Church. And you can go see her dead body on display, and it's like it's been there for years or hundreds of years or something like that, and hasn't de- decomposed once. Wow! And they've 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 checked the the chamber it's in. Like scientists have come and tried to debunk it, and they can't. And it's on wow. display in like this super famous Catholic church in France. Interesting. I'd love to go look at it. Yeah, I'm just down. to like see. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Sick, yeah. So if you guys want to see us in Paris, in Paris, hit me like up for a seminar. <laughs> <laughs> hit me up for a fucking seminar, and then I want to go to the fucking catacombs. Right or shit. Venmo me fifty thousand dollars cash. <laughs> that would that would work too. <laughs> that would work as well. Yes. Oh god, <laughs> a bucket list though. It's interesting. Yeah. What what added to the bucket? What list. inspired catacombs? I saw a video. I saw a video of these people. Walking across a train track in Paris. I believe it's Paris. 
The, the catacombs, like the catacombs with all the fucking dead bodies and shit. Like that's... The catacombs. I don't know. I'd have Paris. to... I think it's Paris, but some other country that's not America, you guys know what I'm talking <laughs> it's about. It's there. They made movies about and shit. That shit. That's where I'm trying to go to. Imagine <laughs> I try to go and it's just some other country. The wrong place. <laughs> I've never seen the catacombs. You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I saw like some kids, not kids, like 20-year-olds, whatever, they're walking... Uh, across a train track and there's a hole off the side there's like a little divot and they just slide their bodies into the crevice and then boom they're in the fucking catacombs they're walking through oh wow and uh yeah they come across like a bunch of like bones and shit so what are you looking for when you go there a, a sense of picture. a sense of fear a sense of figure finding something what's experience mm-hmm. i want a polaroid that'd be of, sick like you need, you need to do something with Polaroid. Like, uh, yeah, that would be Start sick. an Instagram or something, because it seems like you yeah. really enjoy that. I fucking, I love it. Yeah. I love it. That's cool. Uh, I've got a whole book. That's sick. But, uh, yeah, Polaroid experience, you know, be, be able to go to a different country and, and uh, live or, yeah, survive, you mm. know, fucking on my own <clears throat> um, or with you. Yep. And then... Um, well, you wouldn't survive without me, so exactly. I'd, I'd have to be there. I have to, yes. <clears throat> and then I do, I hope it ends up turning into like, uh, you know how we play Outlast Trials? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm hoping, but in real oh, life. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, some sort of experience like that. Or like, I just want to like, like we're there, we take the photo and then like, maybe we're looking through the photos later at night and there's just like a ghost behind me. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Or like you snap the photo and then there's just like, an echo of like some scary fucking noise in the distance and, and we're like time, time to go <laughs> let's get out of here Scoob <laughs> <laughs> literally that's exactly what I want um, there's places you can go that's probably guaranteed to happen like haunted places like absolutely. stuff like that you can definitely go there and stuff like absolutely that yeah but the catacombs definitely seem more like that type of vibe you know yeah, it's an experience I yeah definitely gotta go there um, we we what else? We have... I want to... Go ahead. What were you going to say? Uh, <laughs> I was just going to say, I want to do something similar like on my bucket list where I want to go close my eyes, put my finger on a map, boom. Mm. Wherever my finger lands, that's where I go. I don't want any planned... Tr- I don't want nothing planned before I get there. Like I don't want a place to stay, nothing. I want to get there. Then once I'm there, I have to figure it all out. Yeah. Like talk to people and be like, hey, like where is the nearest hotel, like coffee shop? Like you know what I mean? Like and like yeah. survive a week doing that, dude. That'd be so Fuck. freaking fun. That would be fun. It'd be so fun. Fuck. I might buy like. Don't know the language. Wait, <laughs> dude, that'd be sick. What if we like buy a map, and have darts and just like, bro, we should like, do that. That's where we go. God, we just need money. I just need money, right? Guys, please. <laughs> he said, he's like, I really want to make money off of this. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, that's God. spot on. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Uh, oh, I really God. want to. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so true. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that, that's a cool idea, but it's just yes. like every time we do that door, you're like, Fuck, I need $50,000. <laughs> <laughs> oh Fuck, my dude. god um you you brought up a quote uh-huh and i wanted to bring up a quote right from the video i sent you today the quote is <clears throat> the only shortcut to life is to never miss a day because sometimes you get lucky and you'll never miss a lucky day if you try every day your lucky opportunity might be the day you skip. Mm. So this reminds me of a conversation we had about luck, mm-hmm. right? And you asked me, like, oh, do you, do you think luck is a, is a thing? Do you think luck is real? Mm-hmm. And I was like, I mean, I guess it kind of depends on the on the situation. And you were like, no, you create your own luck. Yeah, and. I completely understand this now. Yep. But at the time, I was like, well, I mean, yeah, sure, luck. You know, it happens, right? Shit happens. But it just, at, from the quote, which is from uh, Andrew Tate, by the way, he says he says that, and it kind of just means you, fu- you put in the work every single day, and then eventually it will amount to something 
So it's not really luck. Mm -hmm. It's just your work coming into like accumulating into something. Yep. Um, I mean, you, you, you're just giving yourself way more opportunities than other people are giving themselves. Yes. And then they wonder why it comes to you first. Exactly. And it's like, exactly spot on, you know, you just put yourself in front of the gun more than, than they did. Yep. yep. Um, it's funny you bring that up. Cause I was just having this moment dude. dude <laughs> like there's some days I'm like hard on myself. And then there's one day, some days where I'm like, man, I've made it so far. And then some days I'm just like, God, I fucking suck. Dude. Like, <laughs> fuck. Um, yesterday or two days ago was one of those days. For yeah. Me. Yeah. Like, God, it's I funny. Suck. Two days ago, I'm driving home and, um, when I went to that Baker Bear ice cream sandwich place, mm. <laughs> um, I'm driving back. I'm like, bro, I remember back two years ago when I was training in Blacksburg, <clears throat> I had 125 followers on my Jiu Jitsu account I have mm-hmm. now. And I remember seeing the DDS films when y'all, when y'all were in Puerto Rico. Mm-hmm. And obviously, any gym you go to that's more so, we had high level competitors at my old gym. But nowhere near the amount of hobbyists we had. So any hobbyist gym you go to, dude, they're always going to be fascinated about the celebrities of, of the sport. Mm-hmm. At the time, and still is, but at the time it was y'all, y'all really blowing up at that time. And so everyone's talking about DDS, blah, blah. And, and, I, and I'm like, man, I I could make my own career, my own story in, in jiu-jitsu. And you know, let me start now. I remember having 125 followers being like, like telling everyone in my gym, like, oh, I'm going to get to 5,000 like one day. I'm going to get to 5,000 one day. And, and like, they would kind of laugh, you know, and I started making little instructional videos at my at my gym, mm-hmm. getting like 500 views and everyone would laugh when I'd be filming them, you know, at the gym, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, I'm telling you, like, they're going to blow up one day. They're going to yeah. blow up one day. Like, I did. I remember that. I remember telling yeah. people this. And then and then I was like, oh, I'm going to when I caught wind that that the, that y'all squad was um moving out of Puerto Rico, I was like, man, I hope it's to the United States. I hope it's back to the United States. Mm-hmm. Then I heard Texas and I told, and then I was like, I didn't tell everyone this, but I told just Brady at the time. Mm-hmm. I was like, man, I think, I think I'm going to move to Austin. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, fuck dude, like do it. Yeah. And then, and then I told my gym, like, Hey guys, you know, I'm leaving. And then, and once again, everyone kind of laughs at you. You know what I mean? I was like, man, just two years ago at 125 followers, um, on Instagram and making little instructional videos Fast forward two years, I have an instructional on BJJ Fanatics coming out, and I'm on a seminar poster with Jay. Yep. Obviously, a lot of it has to do with people helping me. Of course. But that never would have happened if I didn't put myself in these situations. Yes. Spot fucking off. You know what I mean? Spot so it's on. like, man, yeah. you just got to throw yourself out there, yeah. man. And it, I it also, that story reminds me of how we were talking about uh, some other episode. We were talking about how fucking... You're delusional and crazy until you fucking make it. Until you make it, and then exactly. You're inspirational and fucking yeah. the man. <clears throat> and then and then I became an instructor at B Team, which was yep. like a big deal when I came down here. I was like, man, like they trust me to sh- show wrestling here, like it's a big deal. And I'm sitting there, it's like, man, I, I've made it so far. And then the very next day, I went with someone at practice and I couldn't pass their guard. And I was like, <laughs> I fucking suck, dude. I was like, I'm going home, back to Virginia. <laughs> I was so oh pissed, dude. God. It was just yesterday. I was so pissed off. Almost left practice. I was so pissed off. Same. Really? Yeah, dude. dude I was, same. I was so close same to leaving. I was just like, God, I'm. I I never I never get emotional, yeah. especially in training. Never yep. get emotional, and it was just fucking ticking the wrong way. Mm-hmm. Just ticking me the wrong way. Fucking two days ago. Yep. God. Same. I, mm, I almost cried. Yeah. I, I almost I, cried out of frustration. Yeah. I sat. I laid down. I told myself. I was like, oh, just, just chill. Just chill. You yeah. know. <laughs> I wasn't gonna call the scene or anything, but like I was in that mood where I was, and then I had like. Which I always encourage people to do, but I had like people come up to me asking me questions, and I was just about like wrestling and stuff. Yeah, and I'm just like, oh, I don't feel like talking right now, dude. I'm gonna shoot myself. Yep. Like I don't even feel like I deserve to answer these questions anymore because I couldn't pass this guy's guard for one round. Yep. <laughs> like the slightest bit of, I don't perform as well as I usually do. I, it's so I'm so quick to be like, that's it. Yeah, like, it's what, over. What the fuck, dude? Everyone stop following me. Yeah. Like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Uh, but in reality, imposter syndrome. Yeah, yeah, imposter syndrome. Yeah. Just instantly, because I get taken down once or something, dude. It yeah. pisses me off. Um, but you know, yeah, whatever. The you next can, day, I'm just like, eh, 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> so back to work. Back to work. Yeah. Back to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ethan. Ethan subbed me one too many times. It was like halfway through the round, and he got me with something that I I was almost out, and then he got me with something slick, and I was. I almost left. I almost stood up and left, and I was like, "Yeah, Nikki Rod and I were both this. watching your round like together, and like commenting on your on your yeah. round, and like, Dude. Nikki Rod just like smiling because he, he probably knew you were getting pissed. I was so <laughs> angry. Yeah, I I never get never get frustrated, but yeah, that mm-hmm. yeah, fuck. I don't even want to think about it. It's good and bad. You know, I think it's kind of yeah. good because it's like you know you're you're judging. You have expectations for yeah, your Yeah, expectations. You're judging your day on based off your performance. Yeah. Right? It's like, yeah, maybe that guy, maybe that guy. But like my, my performance overall needed to be better. Like I need to have a better performance. Yeah. And I'm sitting there like i am really been trying to dive in on my passing recently. Working so, a lot with Nicky Rod. Nicky Rod's been showing me a lot of good stuff. And Nicky Rod's got a lot of good Ethan, shit. Ethan, stuff like that. And yeah. I've been, I've been, whenever I've been drilling, I've been kind of drilling that um, a little bit during live uh, or before live, not even like what we're going over that day, but just like yeah. these specific moves. Um, you know, I was trying it on uh, on Ant. You know, yes, Ant, yeah, yeah. He's such he's a good a guard, really good guard, really yeah. good guard, dude. super flexible guy, so flexible. Yeah. No matter where I go, dude, he can just bring his foot up yes. over his head. Yeah, it's a really good guy. It's let me get into something here. Let me get into something. <laughs> See, like, so this, I try and practice what I preach, guys. I really do. So I got upset. At practice, I was about to leave. He did nothing wrong. He was a great round. Mm-hmm. Being, being, he's a, ma- a really good guard player, and he wants to go with me and he wants to do wrestling with me because his wrestling isn't as good as the rest of his game. So we kind of exchange, um, or at least we didn't until now. Um, and so I just couldn't pass his guard. There's some rounds where I do pass his guard. So when I don't, I'm just like, "Fuck! Yeah. Why? What am I doing wrong?" Like, um, and it's because he's also getting good as well. Where yeah. we're both going like this. Yes. But I get upset, but then I go home and I'm in the shower by myself and I go, you know what? Starting Thursday, when I'm back to practice, from here until I fucking die, I will grab him every day and tell him to play guard and I have to try and pass his guard. There's no getting upset. There's no, oh, I couldn't pass his guard today. It's just you try and you try again tomorrow Yeah. and then tomorrow. Tomorrow, 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 and you just keep going with him. Hey, pass. Hey, first five minutes, I'm gonna try and take you down. Second five minutes, I'm gonna try and pass your guard. That's all. all every round's gonna go. And I was like, and that's what I'm gonna do. And I told myself, I'm not gonna get upset. Whatever happens, I'm not gonna get upset. I'm just gonna do it and do it and do it and do it. Yeah. So starting tomorrow, I'm gonna be like, I gotta pass, try and pass yeah. this guard, guy's guard every day. Yeah. <laughs> get fucking reps in. Yeah. Um, I I have the that's same concept. Except uh, I run into the issue where no one wants to train with me. <laughs> really? Dude, I love Dude. rolling with you. The only reason why sometimes I don't roll with you is because I feel sometimes I'm not a good enough roll because I'm smaller. But it's the only reason why. Yeah, like, so there's different different stuff that I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm like, you know, he's got a match coming up. He's not going to yeah. go against someone who, who who's my size. So. But- on like my previous match, I wanted to do more rounds with you and Dorian specifically because I was like, okay, this guy's good at wrestling. Mm, yeah, he is. And then he just yep. ended up pulling guard, <laughs> and then I just completely forgot how to pass guard. Yeah. Um. So that I kind of fucked myself with that. Yep. Um. And then I come back home, and I'm like, all right, we'll work on some guard passing, right? And then I can't pass Ethan's guard, and he triangles me, and I'm like, God I'm gonna, damn I'm gonna it. kill myself. Yeah. Um. But even today, yeah, I was I a- I asked. I asked so many people to train mm-hmm. and I told them, I was like, yeah, my, my ankle's banged up. I'm, I'm not, I'm not training hard. I'm not scrapping. Uh, just essentially I was just drilling. Like, uh, I, I say this all the time. I drill in my live training, right? I never drill, drill like all you n- normal people do. <laughs> I drill in live training with people that I'm, I'm that than. good. I'm that good, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not that good. Like I'm drilling, in live, live training, right? Because what if I, someone, I want what if someone comments right now, well, maybe you would have passed Gracie's guard if you drilled guard passing. I'd kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not sometimes nice. I, sometimes I, I think sometimes I should drill more. I, I mean, I guess I should drill more, but I feel like there's, it's, it's a matter of like, you drill something two or three times, you understand it, you comprehend it, and then you use it in your live training mm-hmm. that same day. 
that yeah. is what you should be doing, yeah. right? If you if you drill it a million times and then you go l- train live like you do every single you other do what day, you normally do, yeah. What the fuck are you learning? You're not learning anything, right? Yeah. You're not going to implement that thing that you drilled a million times into your into your live training. Then it's useless. Yeah. Um. So I want to get proper reactions. I want to get live reactions that other people do. Other people react differently. Maybe instead of pummeling, I'm trying to pass your guard. Maybe instead of a putting a frame on my chest, maybe you pummel your leg, right? So I mm-hmm. want to get different rounds, different reactions. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. That's my type of drilling. Dude, l- Drill with people that you're uh, you're much better than. Live, live, you always get the most random reactions. Yep. It is never, ever how you drill it. Yes. Ever. Exactly. You drill it this way, you go do it, and they'll react completely different every yep. time. And it's like, okay, it's it's as long as it's close enough for you still kind of know the move, you know what you're doing, but it's never exactly how you drill it ever, yep. ever. And that's why I don't drill like that. You just try to so. you try and replicate it as close as yeah reality as you can. But but then today's days like today where just no one wanted to train with me. It's like yeah, I train with like two 15 year olds, <laughs> um, and. Uh, and, and, that, and call it a day. And then pretty much, yeah. I mean, I, I, tra- I trained with a guy I knew was going to play guard. Mm-hmm. And then that might have been all. I, I asked I asked Sal. I asked Ethan. I asked Sean, Nikki Ryan. I asked Declan trained with me, actually. Declan's got some fucking balls. Declan <laughs> will train with me. Um, couldn't pass his guard. Almost cried. I almost cried. Um, that, that's yeah. that's my frustrations. Is I tell myself this, like I go work with this, blah blah, and then today specifically, mm-hmm. my knee just felt like shit. Just felt so unstable. I was doing like light little lifts in the gym today, and I was just like, bro, I feel like my knee is just about to fucking fall apart. Yeah. So I get frustrated. So I'm like, mm, I should be taking time to heal but then anytime i take time to heal i'm like i'm not getting better better, it's just like (laughs) it drives me nuts nuts dude it's just it's just a balancing act it is it's so hard yeah so hard um oh my dvd released today oh yes my dvd released today today um and yeah if you guys are interested in learning any sort of judo um bjj fanatics Type up uh, J Rod Judo, and you find yourself all the good stuff. I it's all in English, right? So you're not gonna have any trouble deciphering the fucking Da Vinci Code, trying to learn <laughs> Da Vinci this, uh, Code, any of these throws. Um, it's all in English, and yeah, it's all in English. All the hip toss. Please enjoy. Uh, yeah, caught a hip toss. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I ever was in high school. Yeah, it was dude, just it was- like. The name of a move was just describing what you were doing. Yeah. It's like you grab the head, you throw him. What is this called? It's called the head throw. Like, okay, it makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, why is this called a single leg? Because you're grabbing one leg. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's fucking simple. <laughs> I don't know why people have to overcomplicate things. Oh, so Gary. Yeah. Oh, Raya Goshi. Yeah, I'm like, what are you saying? Yeah. Uh, did you watch the monkey movie yesterday? No. 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 no monkey movie. No monkey movie. We planned on. Uh, I really need to watch it though. Seeing the monkey movie, but then, what's it called? It's a Planet of the Apes movie. Yeah, one but of those things. It's it's newer one. It's like something something Planet of the Apes. Yeah. I forget the actual like the, the whole title, but um, I'm gonna regret if I don't go see it, and then it comes out. It moves out of theaters yeah. onto like the TV. And I watch it. I'm like, man, this is a great movie. It would have been even better if I saw it in theaters. <laughs> <laughs> how, how much are like tickets? I haven't been to the theaters in fucking. Well, like, I should have gone yesterday because they're half price. They're like freaking half like price. they're like five bucks to go, go watch a movie in like the nicest movie theater around yeah. in Austin. But I think it re- normally they're probably like twelve. Yeah, yeah. We went to we went to Pliable yesterday. Went to Pliable. We went to Pliable. I was able to convince Nikki Ryan to leave the house. <laughs> uh, how did I do it? I'll tell you. Um, back home in Jersey, there's a smoothie bowl place called Playa Bowl. It's amazing. If you've ever had it before, you understand. Um, and in Texas, there's no Playa Bowl until there until is. That. So uh, I invite Josh and I invite Nikki Ryan and Aaron and I'm like, Nikki, you ever had pliable back from like back home? And he's like, Yeah, it's the best. 
it's the fucking best smoothie bowls I've ever had, best sauce tea. And I'm like, you want to go? And he's like, there's none in Texas. And I was like, we're not, brother. <laughs> there's one in Texas now. He's like, really? How far is it? Like, he's so excited. <laughs> And yeah, I fucking convinced him to come outside. So so you need you need a little bit of nostalgic jersey to get mm-hmm. him out, get him come yep. out. Yep. You walk the moment you walk through those doors. The moment he walked through those doors, he was like, "Man, it's just like back home." Really? <laughs> yeah. That, that's that's awesome. Yeah. They're all the plywalls are like themed the same, so it's all like same aesthetic. That's cool. Um. Yeah. Good feeling. I also really I cannot wait to go to the beach. I cannot wait to touch water. As in Hawaii? Hawaii, yeah, but also just like Jersey. In general? Yeah. Dude, I miss the ocean so much. Yeah. I'm, I'm an, I'm an ocean, ocean guy. Yeah. Like, I grew up going to the ocean a lot when I was little. Yeah, I, I was thinking about going to, uh, like, the ocean here. It was mm-hmm. it like a three-hour drive? Or like Galveston? Yeah, it's on like a, Galveston, yeah. But Nikki Rod said, like, it's terrible. That's what I someone said. I hear a lot of people like say someone it's, says it's terrible. not like, the best. Yeah. Yeah, the carcinogenic coast is what they call them. Whoa, <laughs> easy there. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I haven't experienced it, so I don't know. But that's just word of mouth. Yeah, I really need to see that. I do. Hawaii is going to be amazing. When I see the ocean, I'm like, ah. yes, yeah, it's going to be a good feeling. It would. Oh no, be- I'll see the ocean first in Florida. Oh yeah, you'll be fucking there. Yeah, yeah. Sick. Do a whole road trip Monday because we don't check into our resort Monday evening, so we're flying in Monday early Monday morning in Miami mm-hmm. and making that whole day like a day trip because it's a two hour drive to where our island's at. Sick. So we're stopping all the cool spots and yeah. stuff. What That'd are your cool. expenses like for this trip? Um, like total. Total, yeah. So far, it's not that crazy. You what you would think would be Florida Keys. I think yeah. total. Mm, with the plane and car rental plane car and stay and stay around two grand yeah i was gonna say two grand ish yeah two people it could it could vary yeah like, like there's some resorts and... out in florida keys it, oh, it could have yeah, been yeah. like about five thousand just for the stay <gasps> yeah <laughs> yeah i cannot afford that that's just for the stay god dude. damn yeah yeah now it's just for like three nights yeah yeah but we found a resort that was it's just as nice, just not as exclusive. Um, has its own like dolphin swimming pool there. They can swim with dolphins and it'd be so sick. Snorkeling, that's free sick. bike rentals. We ride around all the islands, dude. That's it'd fucking be awesome, sick. Dude. Yeah. Shirt off, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was thinking. Uh, I saw. I think someone reached out to me on Instagram about uh, doing a seminar on Hawaii and a certain island, maybe. Ka- Kauai or something mm. or I'm, I'm sh- surely I'm butchering this but something with a K um and the the guy's uh, Instagram had like he was like riding bikes and shit so I was like you guys ride bikes out here? bikes y'all got y'all bikes got, y'all there? got rentals can I <laughs> rent something over there fuck yeah um so maybe maybe I could ride over there that would be sick um what what are the other things that we have to do in Hawaii right we're obviously teaching, have to do spearfishing, have to do surfing. Mm-hmm. I was going to say spearfishing, and I really want to see you try and surf. Surfing? We should probably try to kill something. Yes. Kill something. Like a boar or a goat. A boar or a goat. Yeah. I know that guy, uh, Jason, he yeah. mentioned boars. Yeah. I was like, Wow. I'm down. Wouldn't that be an adventure? That would be awesome. <laughs> the back of the fool with his fucking dumbbell, yeah. dumbbell shotgun. Just, <laughs> go, Diego! <Jacob! laughs> uh, One arm in that thing. Just <laughs> <laughs> fuck would be awesome. Yeah, that would be sick. Well, if we go spearfishing, we'll kill a fish. Hopefully. I mean, I tried. I tried. We're we going to try again. I tried. Wait, I'm it's of, exhausting as well. Like, dude, I bet. Dude, if you're out there for an hour, I don't even. I can't Did you remember. have gear on, or was it just your swimming trunks? Just swimming trunks, flippers, some gloves, gloves and goggles, goggles, snorkel. I told you I'm gonna buy a damn shark knife. Yeah, they they to, gave me one. Okay, good. To like, dude. You know? Yeah, in case you just. Yeah. That great white pull up on you, you got to end them real quick. Yeah. It's fucking... <laughs> they come, they sneak up on you. Like, you, you're saw, on you saw a shark? 
Well, I didn't see one, but they said there was a shark in our area oh, that like pushed all the all the fish. There was like a fisherman net fishing. Shark came up, pushed all the fish into a corner, and the guy caught all the fish. Wow. And we see the guy walking by after we come in with a bucket full of fish. We're like, whoa, how'd you catch all these fish? <laughs> My buddy shark. There was a shark right over there. What? And we're like... <laughs> That's where I was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but... We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. If anything, we'll just fucking... How far out did you go from the beach? I mean, not far. Okay. Maybe... Like not a, far. And relative to a football field. I can't tell you when was the last time I saw a football field. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like, I don't know, 30 to 50 feet max. I feel like it, not that much. So it's not as far as like from here to the end of the road? Like when you pull no. in? No. No. Okay. Like half that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I have to be able to skedaddle back to the beach. <laughs> the flippers help a lot. I'm trying to do the math now. How far I gotta swim if I had to run some? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'd be a good time. Um, is there anything else we should go over before you're gone for your trip? I'm gone, I'll be gone. Um, um, I wanted to get into this one topic, but I think I might save it for the next one. You got to give me a little fucking sprinkle or something. Okay, I'll give you a little sprinkle. Um, I wanted to get into a discussion of this word that I'm taking out of my vocabulary. Fuck. That's a good one, but no. Oh. I will. I guess we'll save it. Yeah, no, wait. <laughs> Drop a comment. Make sure you guys get, give it a guess. You know, give it a guess. What, uh, what word what am I taking guy's... out of my vocabulary? It's yes. not a curse word, even though it should be. I need to stop cursing. But it's 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 more of a word with some reason behind it interesting yeah. is it for a religious reason no it's for a life improvement mm. life improvement i like it yeah all right well make sure you guys guess what j rod is, or j rod j dog is taken out of his um vocabulary uh we'll see you guys on the next one make sure you guys support the businesses that are uh, sponsoring the fucking podcast Juice Organics. <laughs> Juice Organic. We're down. We're down a fucking. Uh, my mom's calling me. We're down a fucking uh, a sponsor, unfortunately. <laughs> God. God damn it, guys. This is awesome. This is awesome. You gotta sell your damn card. <laughs> <laughs> guys, oh god we're gonna have to shut the podcast down <laughs> this is the last episode oh my god but seriously collie buds uh make sure you guys get <laughs> magnets for your ears if you guys are fucking getting cauliflower ear drainer put the magnets on you need so them. you don't get any more fucking fluid filling up your ears uh hopefully i'll see one of you guys in the fucking catacombs one of these days <laughs> um yeah, tune in to the next one. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.